my name is Kristen Moorhead. I'm here today to talk to you about Tourette's Syndrome. Tourette's Syndrome is a nervous disorder where a part of your brain tells a part of your body to do something, like snap your fingers or pluck your tongue. That something is called a tick. T-I-C, tick. In order to be officially diagnosed with Tourette's Syndrome, you must have at least two ticks. One a vocal tick, or a sound tick, and one a movement tick, or a motor tick. And you cannot have more than three consecutive months without ticks. That means if I have three months out of the year where I don't have any ticks, then I can't be officially diagnosed with Tourette's syndrome. You can have ticks without having Tourette's syndrome. Some medication side effects are ticks, and some other syndromes, like OCD, have ticks. But everybody with Tourette's syndrome has ticks. If you're having trouble thinking of ticks, imagine hiccups. You can't help having them. You can't stop them. You can't help when you get them. But you can do things like drinking water upside down to help slow them down. Ticks are sort of the same way. It is possible to hold them in, in which case the person would have an urge to tick before actually ticking. But it is uncomfortable and it's hard to focus on schoolwork when you're trying to hold in your ticks. Some people with Tourette syndrome grow so used to ticking that they don't even notice that they're ticking, even when they are. Usually, ticks start appearing around ages 5 to 7, very rarely over age 18. Ticks can sometimes come and go, like maybe two years I'll snap my fingers, and then that'll fade away, and then maybe three months I'll click my tongue, and then that'll fade away, and then I'll start rolling my eyes, and then that'll fade away. It's sort of like a wave motion. Ticks are usually at their strong point when a person is stressed out, like studying for a test, or energized when you're going to your friend's birthday party. There is medication to help slow them down and stop them, like if you're going to a birthday party, you may want to take medication to help slow them down. But there is no known cure. Although scientists are working on finding a cure for Tourette's syndrome, so people with Tourette's syndrome have something to look forward to. It is not contagious. If somebody with Tourette's syndrome came up to you and shook your hand, you would not get Tourette's syndrome. Boys usually get Tourette's syndrome more often than girls, but many girls can get it too. Usually, Tourette's syndrome is either misdiagnosed or undiagnosed, meaning one of three things will happen when asking a doctor if you have Tourette's syndrome. One, you'll be diagnosed correctly, two, you'll be diagnosed with something else, or three, you will not be diagnosed, but you will still have Tourette's syndrome. That is basically the scientific part about Tourette's syndrome. Now I'd like to talk a little bit about my life as a person with Tourette's syndrome. I am diagnosed. I started exhibiting tics at age seven, but I was not fully diagnosed until age nine. Some of my tics include nodding my head, or going hm, hm, with my throat. I have Tourette's syndrome, and I'm proud that I have Tourette's syndrome. I can't help having it, it's just something about me. That kid over there in the corner of class, he can't help having braces. That girl sitting up front can't help having braces. It's just a part of them. Everybody has something different about themselves. That doesn't give bullies and everybody else the right to make fun of you. I'm pretty sure that they have something different about themselves, too. I have Tourette's syndrome, but Tourette's syndrome doesn't have me. If you'd like to do any additional research on Tourette's syndrome, you can go to www.tsa-usa.org. It is the official Tourette's Syndrome Association website. This is their logo.